All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our PR2 today. So I hope that you did enjoy a wonderful weekend because today is Monday, the first day of the week. Of course, time to face again the challenges that lies ahead in the academy. Let's begin our PR2 uh, with a prayer. Prayer uh, leader. Right, may we ask who uh, the prayer leader for today is? Miss Abihuela. Mag-start na ko, sir. Sure. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father and your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, thank you for another life to enjoy, another day to learn, and a new set of things we will experience. As we go through our lessons today, may let us be instruments to do good things, help us be obedient, honest, and kind to one another. Please bless our teachers, our schools, and our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Ms. Abewala, in giving the opening prayer. Right, so let's begin our, or the continuation of the, shall we say, checking of our performance task. Last week, we start with a group of Ms. Aguinot, if I'm not mistaken, and we ended with a group of Ms. Canibel. Tama ba Yes, sir. Okay, now we'll continue with the other groups. Let's see, give me a moment. Right now, let's jump to the group of Miss Miss Dumangas. Topic is the experimental study of the effectiveness of chamomile tea. Where am I? Chamomile tea for people having insomnia. Let's try to look into the theory. Okay, the first thing that I noticed in the group of Miss Dumangas is the theory about the chamomile tea uh, does this theory really exist miss dumangas study sir about the chamomile tea okay uh is it you that should be making the theory or naagi dapat theory na na formulate ani Okay, so, uh, wala tay power, no, as researchers to make a study a theory. Okay, dili ta pwede nga. And I study na ni Himuon ko ni siyang theory. Okay, dili na siya pwede. Okay, so we have to look for a theory that would help uh, support our experiment. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you so, so much, Ms. Tumangkas. And the next thing, let's go to our conceptual framework. We have here our schematic diagram. And we do not have a label sa ito ang atong schematic diagram. Okay, kung ang atong schematic diagram only presents two variables, the arrows would explain kung asa si independent o asa si dependent variable. Pero kay nagamit man ta tulog ka boxes, which would make it a bit confusing, no? So what is this middle box? Obviously, the first box is uh, the independent, and the third box would be the uh, dependent variable. 
Now, what is this middle box? A lot of benefits me and my goods. Now, if we were to label these benefits, what do you call this uh, variable in the middle? Kung saan tawag ang mga variable? Mediating variables. Okay, mediating variable. Okay, so muna siya ito ang buhaton sa ito ang schematic diagram. So kay, wata ka balo, o mediating ba ni, or basin o moderating variable ni siya? Lahit ra ba si mediating, si moderating, lahit po si intervening, lahit po si control variable. That is why kung more than two boxes na gana nga ito ang schematic diagram, we have to label na. Kung duha lang ka boxes, pwede na tadili mag-label because that's obviously the dependent and independent variable. And to determine or to identify which between the variable is dependent or independent, then makita na natin na siya kung asa nag-point from or asa nag-point to ang atong arrow. Again, kung more than two na ganing ang atong mga boxes na gigamit, which means we are presenting more than two types of variables, which could either be na atay mga moderating, intervening, or mediating variable. So, kinahanglan natin siya i-label kung unsa ni siya nga variable. Moderating ba or mediating variable? Okay. Okay, so thank you. Alright. Okay, thank you so much. Now, let's go. So, again ha, there is no need to label the description as description. Pwede na ta moderitsyo sa ato ang kuan. Moderitsyo sa ato ang... Uh, Saan ka ni? Moderitsyo sa ato ang description without writing the word description. So, pwede na ni na to siya i-omit. Oh, sorry. Yep. This one. So, pwede na na to i-omit ng word niya, description. Ang diretsyo na ta sa therapeutic, the benefits and the efficacy uh, are determined by the amount of chamomile tea consume which is the independent variable and the outcome or the therapeutic benefits quality of sleep okay we have uh, to reconstruct our sentence then it's the last The therapeutic, the benefits, and the efficacy will determine the quality of sleep. Uh, Dili kay the therapeutic and benefits and efficacy is determined by the quality of sleep. It's the quality of sleep that is being affected. Tama pa ko? Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're going to do is that the therapeutic, the benefits, and the efficacy... I'm confused. Which word would you prefer? Efficacy or efficiency? Efficacy, sir. Okay, so we have to be consistent with the terms that we use, okay? Okay, sir. Sorry. Okay. Now let's continue. Balik ta sa efficacy. Ah, so today, I'm sorry. It would determine the quality. I thought my word that ring a by would be determined by the quality. I'm so sorry. Nalibat lang si Sir KP. Kay tigul lang na. Okay. The amount, therapeutic effects. Okay, that's good. A label na lang atong kulang danhe. Now let's go to the next stop. Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry about that. The statement of the problem will be according to the variables presented. Let's go to your statement of the problem. Okay, we have here the we have here our schematic diagram and you presented the different variables that you have determined. Palikta, just like what the other groups uh, have been corrected. Ang ato ang statement of the problem at ang research questions would be according to the variables that we have presented. We have here the amount of chamomile tea. We have the therapeutic, the benefits and the efficacy. We have the sleep quality, which means a measure na to si amount of chamomile, i-measure na to si therapeutic, i-measure na to si benefits, and i-measure na to si efficacy, and then i-measure na to si sleep quality. But none of these questions talk about the measurement of your variables. Okay. 
in na kuha ba sa duho po ni Ms. Dumangkas? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go to the third question. Uh, okay, this is acceptable. What age group of people is chamomile tea safe to consume? Uh, Naabay study nga nag-ingon nga this is not safe? Na-answer sa katong chamomile tea na siya age group sir kung applicable ba siya sa teens and yeah. How much nga iyahang i-consume, sir, dan ang sayang adults, inanay na dapat ang i-consume, sir. Okay, so we would consider this question. This is a good question. What are the components of chamomile tea? This is a a good question. Diri lang ta sa kanang number one, no? Is chamomile tea because if we are to answer uh, two and three, then ma-answer na po ni siya si question number one. So there is no need to write this. There is no need to include this question number one. So again, tanaw na sa nato atong variables. Okay, uh, sakto na ni siya, inyong two and three. Uh, dugangan na lang nato questions about the uh, about uh, the other variables in your study. Okay, so thank you. Okay, and don't forget to ask question about the quality of sleep. Okay, let's try if I still have something on my notes. Okay, okay na to siya. Na take note, uh, Miss uh, Charmé. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much. So, maulan to siya ang corrections and yung ang performance task. Now, let's go to the next group. Let's go to the group of okay, we have here the group of Mr. Espinosa. Topic is the analysis of disease data that we can inherit from our lineages. Mm. We have here the theory of heredity. And Mendelian Genetics by Gregor Mendel. I remember this theory. And then, your statement of the problem aims to know the disease that can inherit or can be inherited, and as you know, grammar-wise, can be inherited from your grandparent to you and to the next generation of your lineages. So, ang inyo ang gusto mahibaluan is that uh, umsa ang mga sakit, tama ba? Yes, sir. Okay. Gusto niyo mahibaluan kung unsa ang mga sakit ang ma pwede nga ma-inherit. Hmm. How would you know nga ang isa ka sakit pwede siya ma-inherit? Confer by... Confer ka na... Experimental, sir. Then, uh, how would you experiment? Tanang mangita mi concert ka na bitong. For example, sir, like, di ba naman sa concert, like, mukhang yung tanga na atay, diabetes ng ato ang lane, ng ato ang atong family, sir. Yung anak, sir, mangita mi. Ako, sir, nga, nga, na sila yung nakita ng pattern ng anak sa lahang cancer family da yun. Amo din siyang i-investigator ko. Kung saan na siya da yun. Kanang, kanak sir, kung saan na siya da yun. Kung, kung din sir, kung kung mo up, kung, kung mo continue ba na siya sa next na generation or like pila na nang so sa next generation kung mas, kung stronger pa ba dyan po na siya nga cancer disease, even doon nga nag-mix na siya sa next na generation. Okay, so generally that's what you want to find out. But uh, my concern is how you ask your question in your research question one. You say, how disease, how disease able to maintain its effectiveness even if being passed through the next generation? Uh, could you make this clearer? What do you mean by this question? I'm just a bit confused.
kwan sir, di ba sir ka? Di ba sir ka na, hindi ka naman sa itong parents, parents or like sa itong grandparents sir, niya, until, until now sir is, ano, nakita niya po na ninyo nga disease sa inyo nga sir, like, di ka naman sa itong parents sir, effect, sa next ano nga generation sa inyo nga sir, like, nakita man yung sa inyo, sa next generation ano sir is, ano, unsa siya ka effect, unsa siya ka Ito siya ka-effectiveness na makita dyan po ninyo, makita dyan po ninyo siya nga pattern. Even though kasi yung guys parents, na-mix siya sa inyong hang, na-mix na siya sa lain nga kuwan sir, dapat na-mix na po din siya sa pikas niya, ikaw-fourth na ba ako sir, mga generation. So, ito siya ka-effectiveness nga, magawas dyan po na siya nga disease sa next generation sir. Okay, uh, well explained. However, is it proper to use the word effectiveness? as to the passing of the disease from one lineage to another? Or from one generation rather to another? Uh, could, you, could you think of a more appropriate or yes, more appropriate word for this? We will think about it, sir, with your friend. Okay, so while you are thinking about it, can you in question number three, Bob? On a one to five scale, one is the lowest and five is the highest. This is a question that is intended sa inyo ang research instrument, not on the statement of the problem. Okay, because this is uh, the instruction or this is a question for the gathering of the data. Na. So, are we need to wala na siya, sir? Reconstruct. Reconstruct, okay, sir. Okay, we have to restructure this. Okay, uh, while you are still thinking of the word, unsay mas ninglot yung word, no? Sa in, in substitution or in replacement, rather, sa word ni effectiveness, let's go to your conceptual framework. Inherent, inherit, inherit disease. What do you mean inherit disease? Ako nga sir, katong mga napasan ninyo mga dipipitan sa inyo hang concert, previous generation. And then how is it? Okay, I'm confused. Data analysis. Na, na, na confuse ko sa inyo ang kuan inyo ang concept of schematic diagram. Data analysis, heredity produced, and we have their inherent disease dependent. Uh, pwede may explain mo ang, ang relationship, aning ang mga variables ninyo. Nganong kani ang nahimong dependent, nganong kani ang nahimong independent, nganong kani ang nahimong mediating variable. Sa independent, sir, kay mumangid mo siya ang wala mo, sir, kanang among study, the meditating, sir. Okay. Isa atin pa. Uh, one of your variables is data analysis. Are you sure this is a variable in your study? Data analysis is is one of the processes in the conduct of research overall. Not totally. Okay. Therefore, there is a need to, uh, shall we say, they restructure your schematic diagram, your conceptual framework. So identify your variables in the study. Let's see. Analysis of, date, of disease data that we can inherit. 
from our lineages. Excuse me. Okay, so identify what the proper variables should be placed in your in, the, in your uh, schematic diagram, and then uh, a pattern ang ato ang research question according sa presentations ato ang uh, presentations ato ang variables to study. Okay. Let's look yes. into your theoretical framework. The study is based on the book of person genetics. It claims the genetic component of all. Okay, this explains your study, man. So, kato lang siya for this group. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Now, let's jump to the next group. We are done with a group of Mr. Espinosa. Next group is the group of. Mr. Gaan. Topic is a quantitative study of aloe vera's properties and its effect in healing the epidermal wound. So let's go to your theory. Research framework one. The title of your theory says the effect of aloe vera clinical trial on the prevention and healing of skin wound by the david david hekmatpu now question is this a theory or a title of a research study kwana siya sir wrong siya sir kay title siya sa kwan related article na among ang akong na concern na basa Okay, thank you so much. So look for a theory ha, in replacement to this. Yes, sir. Okay, and make sure that this theory is relevant and uh, would be a good backbone for your study. Right, now let's go to the next. See, okay, I'm confused with your arrows. Uh, pwede ma explain mo in your conceptual framework? Uh, yes, sir. Ang kanang conceptual framework na mo, sir, kay nabis na ko siya sa kuwan, sir, sa theoretical, sir. Bali, dapat sa among study, dapat siya na kuwan, sir. Okay. The use of arrows, again, the use of arrows in our conceptual framework sa itong schematic diagram is very crucial. So, dili pwede nga mag uh, basta-bastahan lang nato gamit ang arrows sa itong schematic diagram. Lagi na siya bearing permanente, asa ang maka-apekto, kinsa ang maapektuhan. In your conceptual framework, it shows that the aloe vera affects the, if, uh, affects the effect of aloe vera in clinical trial. The aloe vera affects the wound healing, inflammation, and thromboxane. The aloe vera affects the healing of skin wound and it affects the prevention. That's what your schematic diagram uh, suggests. It's because of the misuse of the arrows. Right? <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay. So now, let's try to look into your, uh, your variables. Your independent variable is the effect of aloe vera in clinical trial. What do you mean by this? How is this, be, uh, how is this considered an independent variable? The effect of aloe vera in clinical trial. Bali mo na siya, sir, ang kwan, ang study bito na mo, sir. Then related po siya sa among kwan, sir, sa katong, sa related article, sir. Bali, dara nakafocus ang among study, sir. Generally, yes. Kaya gusto niyo tanahon ang effect sa skin wound. Pero, effect of aloe vera in clinical trial? How is the general how is the general goal or how did the general goal became the independent variable Aloe vera's oh, you, you have there also in your title aloe vera's properties Pero walay nakita ng 
aloe vera's property as your variable. So nakita na daan, oh, klaro kaayo sa inyong title na ang inyong isa sa mga variables is the properties of aloe vera. Tapos walay nakita nga aloe vera nga uh, aloe vera nga property sa inyo ang schematic diagram. Ah uh, yes, yes sir, wrong siya sir kay ang conceptual framework nga diagram kay na base na ko siya sa kuan sir sa theoretical dili sa study na mo sir. So it should it should really be based sa theoretical actually. Okay. Anchored in the theoretical support and the effect of aloe vera. Okay, gibasin ninyo sa koan sa inyo ang article. Wala sa theoretical, wala sa theory. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Okay, so look for a theory that would support uh, your study and make sure nga applicable yun kaayo. Si koan, si unsay, sani? si theory sa ato ang study. Now, karon independent variable. If I may suggest, it should be the property of the aloe vera. If we are going, if, if uh, you really want to maintain the mediating variables, uh, I'm confused with this wound healing and healing of skin wound. No, mediating variables, wound healing. Pag about sa dependent, nanay another. Pero same regapon, healing of skin wound. What is the difference between wound healing and healing of skin wound? Nanong na asila sa different boxes. Let's see. Ah, so, one, sir, kanang need na mo pa ng isa ka variable, sir. Okay, same lang, sir. Yep. Uh, gusto mong ka ninyo i-maintain si mediating variable? Yes, sir. Okay, i-maintain na. Gusto niyo i-maintain. Inyuan ang kuan ha. Inyuan na siyang decision. So, we have here the independent variable, the properties of the aloe vera and how of course it uh, contributes to the inflammation at thromboxane because the inflammation ah uh, ko ano na siya di ba kanang mura og response kaysa ato ang tama ba ko response yes, na sa atong lawas para makuan ang mga bacteria makontain ang mga bacteria yes okay. sir And then it affects the healing of the wound and also the... What do you mean by this prevention? Prevention of what? Ang um, prevention, sir, kay, like ang um, rag side effect dito sa kuan, sir. Mga, ay, mga possible side effect if amo na siyang ikuan sa skin wound, sir. Mga lubera. Prevention sa side effects? Sir, if like mag-ache mag ba ang kwan, sir, ang bali ang wound or mag-itchy bito, sir, ano, sir? Okay, so we have to specify this kung unsa iyang i-prevent. Yes, sir. Okay, yan na lang. Okay, sir. Too much time. Okay. So, kato lang siya. Ano na to inyong kuana? What are the properties o na? O sakto kaayo ang inyong research questions pero dili makita sa inyong kuan. Schematic. No, perfect kay inyong question number 1. What are the properties? Number 2. Uh, what are the effects of uh, this healing epidermal wound? Okay, maybe number 2 question should be the second variable about the inflammation and thromboxane. And then question number three is considerable. Okay. Uh, Pag-abot sa literature review, agitan ba na ito ang example nga kung gisen? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Agipangita dan ni is title. Okay. Uh, wala, wala man tagi require nga maghimuta ang review of related literature dan ni nga parts sa itong worksheet. Agipangita lang is title of the study nga pwede basis inyo ang uh, own a study uh, and one study is not enough ah uh, okay sir all right so maulan to siya uh, for the group of mr mr gaan okay i hope that you've taken note of that 
Uh, let's go to the next one. A group of Miss Francine, La Cayana. The effects of different levels of NPK of fertilizer to the growth of pechay. Okay, theory is soil fertility restoration theory. Let's look into... It states the NPK fertilizer can increase yield. Okay. Research questions. What fertilizer formula would uh, give the best vegetative growth to the plants? Tanaw na to ang inyong kuan ha? Asaman to. Okay. Sa inyong general statement of the problem, gusto ninyo tanaw na i-evaluate ang effectiveness sa tolo kaklasi nga fertilizer. Tama ba ko, Ms. Lakayanga? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, which means this has something to do with comparing, so comparative. Yes, sir. Okay, so question number one, you might want to ask uh, ang formula siguro, no? Formula sa 14, 14, 14. Question number two, formula sa 16, 20, 0. Question number three, uh, formula sa 45, 0, 0. And then question number four is the measurement of the growth of the koan, growth of the pechay. On say basis ninyo sa inyong growth ani. Okay, balikan na to ang inyo ang koan, theoretical frameworks sa inyong theory sa soil fertility restoration. Anak dan he, sa last nga sentence, hence the NPK compound fertilizer dosage led to the significant changes in the leaf area, overall plant weight, stem length, and root weight, which means this would be the basis of measuring the growth of your pechay. Tama ba ko? Yes, is a, Okay, this is according to your theory nga gigamit. Now, karon, dapat makita nato siya sa inyo ang statement of the problem at makita po na siya sa inyo ang conceptual framework. Okay, so question number four. Uh, uh, it should have something to do with measuring the growth of your pet shy using the 14, 14, 14 in terms of overall uh, leaf area, overall plant weight, stem length, and root weight. Na gets ba? Yes, sir. Okay. Pagtarong ba mo na inyong yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, question number five. I you measure... Uh, the plant growth using the 16-20-0 in terms of, balik na punta, leaf area, overall plant weight, stem length, and root weight. Last question, measurement about, okay, you ask question about, ha? I do not say that you, you, you write the exact term nga akong giingon nga measurement about. So you ask question about, you know, measuring the growth of your pechay using the 4500 in terms of, balik na sa ta, leaf area, overall plant weight, stem length, and root weight. And let's go to your uh, schematic diagram. Okay. You want to compare the result of uh, the the growth of your pechay according to those uh, criteria. Tapos ikumpara ni mo using these three uh, using these three different using these three different fertilizers. Let me ko na. Uh, let me. Let me let me try to 
excuse me uh, i'm still waiting for the pdf uh, to be open pero tan apag tan aw na to ang inyo ang schematic diagram wala wala tay makita nga nga na i1414 na unsa to siya nga klase nga mga fertilizers okay gamay na lang window For a while, ha? Uh, makita ba ang akong gipresent? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's try to... Kuan, ha? This is the... This is the katong PT ni nilang Miss... Uh, Miss Francine. Okay. Uh, you want to compare, man, the... You want to compare the the effects or the the growth of your brassica rapa excuse me okay palikta you want to compare the growth of your brassica rapa according to of course the use of your canning fertilizers now uh, pero makita nato dan sa schematic diagram wala gyuy kuan well, I give mention about those, those, sitaw gani? Well, I give mention about those fertilizers. Okay, so we have to omit this, identify the variables. This is not needed. Okay, so itong schematic diagram. We should start immediately with the gathering of our materials. Dig the soil. Sige, maumangkahan na inyong process. Oh, and then we have to plant. Okay. Then add enough water to the planted pechay. Mura. Ayun yung lang giingon kay. Ani ha? Nagtanong mi og pechay. Among gitubigan. Tapos, among gitanaw ang resulta. Unsa may inyong i-compare karon nga wala man inyong dimension ang inyo ang mga fertilizers. Okay, so siguro, kung ano na nato si add enough water. Okay, obviously, kani si add enough water, na magin ako magtanong ta. Siguro atong buhaton ane, plant seeds of pechay, araw dira, araw dira, ang tunga dayon nga araw. So this is fertilizer 1, fertilizer 2, fertilizer 3. And then, balik na punta, og, ay, excuse lang. And, my mouse sucks. Uh, what's wrong with this? There it is. Okay. Box. Ana. Kona ni. Na gets ba ang ako ang gi visualize? Yes, Ladies sir. and gentlemen, okay. This is for Aha, uh -huh, for fertilizer 1. This is uh ang pagbutang nato og fertilizer aning ako an, kaning fertilizer 2, fertilizer 3 and then git gibunyaga nato siya, git take care nato siya until the harvest of 30 days. Tapos after after that, i-measure na tayo na ito. Kaya para makumpara na ito kung asay, nin, uh, asay siya daog result, si fertilizer 1 pa, fertilizer 2, or si fertilizer 3. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, mato siya ha, katong research problem na ito. Kaganina, research question. Let's see. We have three groups remaining and we only have five minutes left. Okay, so balik ta. Hmm. Uh, dapat makita ang ato ang mga fertilizers 
saat tuang tuan saat tuang schematic diagram and then tan aw na to be kung gi explain bagi na to si oh na na put ko na confuse ko ani yang sama ni Ansa man isa? Anong naaman ni Dere? What do you mean by naka-table pag ito naka-matrix? So asa, pili lang mo kung sa inyong gusto gamitin. Kato ba mga box-box, nga katong mga variables, or kaning process? Ah, isa ra day ana sila, sir. Either lang, either. Kaya para dili, ma-confuse itong mga readers. Okay, sir. Independent sa si mediating na hinuon ang nahimong kuan, nahimo ay si growth weight and yield na hinuon ang nahimong mediating variable. Nga siya man dapat ang basis sa growth sa ato ang kuan, pechay. Okay, pili lang mo anang duha pero uh, wrong isang format dapat ka mga box nga na araw Dili ning nakatable kay dili na ito mahibawan ang relationship sa variable kung dili na ito butangan og mga araw-araw. Okay, sir. Wala ako Okay. Tapos, nakita na ito. Tanaw na to. Balik ta ha. Question number one. What formula would give the best vegetative growth to the plants? Ah, siguro, kung gusto na ito, tanaw, unsay na ah, kang 14, 14, 14. Question number two, unsay na ah, kang 16, 20, 0. Question number three, unsay na ah, kang 45, 0, 0. Question number four, unsa ang growth. Uh, I measure na din na to ang growth ni Pitcha using the 14, 14, 14 in terms of in terms of leaf area, overall plant weight, stem length, and root weight. O si, di ba, na-relate na, na, na to si, 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 sana? Na-relate na to si schematic, na-relate na to si, uh, na-relate na to si schematic, na-relate na to siya kang, sorry ah, uh, balik, 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 erase, erase, erase. <laughs> si schematic, na-relate na to siya kang theoretical. Tapos, na-relate na yun na to si theoretical, si schematic sa ato ang research questions. Okay. Question number four, uh, ask questions about measuring the growth of the pecha using the 16-20-0 in terms of, balik na punta, if area and same goes with formula 4500. Okay. So, ingana lang. Okay. okay All right. So, next group would be tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Two minutes. Nalay na bilin sa to. We are only up to 45 minutes. Okay. 11.45. Okay. We, have, we still have three groups remaining for tomorrow. And then, the day after tomorrow, we'll discuss... Uh, the topics para sa atong chapters uh, 3 and atong chapter 4. All right. Uh, let's have our closing prayer. Kin say naka assign to give the closing prayer. Right, Miss Gama. As Miss, we are about to pray. Please do make the sound for pray for me, Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And dear Lord, thank you for having this, having us this day. Thank you for having our mentor within this class to guide us and correct for our mistakes and do comments about our outputs. May you bless us all and may you. Give us uh, enough knowledge and patience to get through this day with a smile on our faces. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In Father, Son, and Spirit, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Miss Gama, for giving the closing prayer. And thank you, everyone, for coming here today. Tomorrow, I'd be expecting to see everyone still, 100% 100 attendance. Kay para makalearn, giha punta sa correction sa uban. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Same time and goodbye and God bless you all. Bye bye everyone. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.